If you're concerned about your finances, I want you to pause for just a moment and come into agreement with me about praying over your finances. Uh, I was just doing a Bible study in Deuteronomy chapter 8 where the Bible says that God gives you the power to gain wealth. Now, it's not an open-ended promise. It's a promise that if you walk in his statutes and keep his commandments and do the things that he asks you to do, that he would give you the power to gain wealth. He's asking to come into a covenant agreement with you. See, God is looking for people that he can bless so they can bless others. God's not looking to bless people just so they can hoard it up or just have more. But he wants you to be blessed, to be a blessing. God needs people that have wealth in the kingdom because that's how the kingdom gets blessed. So I don't know if you're struggling over finances today, but I want to pray with you about that right now. Father, I come into agreement with whoever is praying with me right now over their finances. And first of all, I break debt off of them. I break the cycle of debt, accumulative debt, and in many cases, generational debt that's been given to them. And I pray, God, that you will open up their mind to brand new wisdom, something that they've never seen before. Show them the miracles all around them. Show them the opportunities all around them, things that you have ordained for them to, that, that are already there, miracles that are already in the house, provision that has already been made. Now, Lord, I pray, God, that you will give them favor with canceled debt, that you will give them favor with business deals. But, Lord, more than anything, I pray for wisdom, that you will give them wisdom to understand how to gain wealth and to see the opportunities that are around them. Also, help them have courage to step out by faith and do something that God is asking them to do that might be God-sized and bigger than them. So I pray in Jesus' name that you will give them help with any anxiety that they're dealing with today and that you'll help them to trust you fully, but more than that, obey you completely surrender to you completely. And Lord, I claim Deuteronomy 8 over their life, that if they'll walk in your statutes and keep your commandments, you will give them the power to gain wealth. 